Hello, this is Franklin McMahon at MediaArtist.com, and we're going to look at Adobe Illustrator CS2. Very exciting, um, specifically the Live Trace option. Um, and if you know the word trace, you probably know that this means tracing a bitmap. And uh, in the past, especially vector programs, it's always been very difficult to get a photograph into vector format so you can resize it, or maybe you're going for a specific, you know, look or feel or something. Um, and the new Illustrator CS2 makes uh, just makes it really easy and makes it very quick. And you'll see right now, this is the Live Trace button. And I'm actually going to go to the Preset button, which is right next door. And I'm going to go to Color 6, select that. And boom, there it is. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. The tutorial's over, no, just kidding. You can actually... I mean, if you wanted to do just that, convert it, it is vector format now. You can go and do whatever. You could shrink it, resize it. You could put it into uh, some sort of project. If you're doing a club flyer, if you want a certain mood or feel, it, it looks pretty cool. And that's a, a pretty basic way to kind of just adjust it. Um, after you do this, your presets are still available. You can actually go, I'm going to go to color 16, actually. Take a quick peek at some of the presets. Uh, let's see. Let's go to comic art. And again, um, you can just select these to choose them, but you can also create your own, which we'll, we'll show that in a second, ink drawing. So pretty cool. And again, this is now a vector image. Let's go back to color 16. And we're going to go into the settings right now, which is the options, a dialog. Now here, your, your presets, once again, are still available, and you can change a lot of these parameters and then save the preset. I'm going to actually toggle the preview on so we can see what we're doing. Let's slide this over a little bit. Um, you can change the colors if you want to manually increase the colors, say 34. If you had a project, you could only use 34 colors. Well, there you go. That would come in very handy. And if you didn't like that, you could always go back to the preset. Just click it and Illustrator will snap right back to it. Um, say if you wanted to blur it a bit. Let's just blur it a uh, couple pixels, not too crazy. Yep, it's pretty neat. Or you can really go even more crazy to get some uh, cool looks. Let's go back. And I'm actually going to go back to the color 6. And it snaps right back. Um, let me cancel out of this. So that's pretty much it. Um, it, it looks simple because it is. It really allows you to quickly trace something, either doing it photorealistic or doing more of a uh, impressionistic feel. Um, so how do you color it? What if you wanted to change the colors of this particular image? Um, very easy to do. I'm actually going to load in some swatches. Let's go to the swatch library. Let's go to Tiki. Nice... Uh, this color. Let's go to the swatch library once again. There we go. Let's do hot. Let me slide this over a bit. And let's do one more. Let's do forest. Very exciting. I'm going to slide these over here. So we've got tiki, we've got forest, and we've got hot. Pretty diverse bunch of palettes here. Now, how do we get these in there? Well, you could drag them in and do some manual stuff, but Illustrator makes it, once again, pretty easy just by selecting palette. And this is a list of the palettes that are currently open. And I'm going to do forest, and we're going to preview it. And boom, there it is. Let's do uh, cold. Just see what that looks like. Very neat. And... Tiki. Very cool. And let's go back to cold because I kind of like the, the blues of that. I'm going to actually drop the blur off because I want kind of a sharper edge to it. Very nice. And we'll get out of that. So again, that's, um, that's how to use the the tracing feature, very quick, very automatic. Uh, there's a lot of stuff happening in the background that's very smart. They really did a good engine behind it, so it makes it really easy. It's something that a lot of users have been wanting, an easy way to do this, 
and it's finally here. So you can go in, do the trace, you can do photorealistic, or you can do more impressionistic. You can tweak, blur, you can create presets, and then once it's done, you can go and load in a swatch and map an actual palette that you create, or one of the built-in ones, onto your vector image, which is usually a photograph or something similar. So a lot of cool tracing features, and you're going to love this. Very, very handy, especially if you're converting photographs to vector images.